My name is Setsuna F. Seye, and I'm going to show you how to turn this into this. It's so shiny. Okay, so we're first going to test this out on a 1-1-44G and sword from Gundam Exia. Here are the paint. We have Armored Komodo Armored Chrome. It says on the bottle that they advise to use a glossier primer. The glossier the primer is, the shinier the finish will be. So I'm going to test this paint out with Armored Komodo Gunmetal Primer. I think it's the glossiest primer I have. This is how the gunmetal primer looks on the blade. And this is how the chrome looks on the blade. However, I'm not satisfied with how this turned out. I want this to be shinier, so I'm gonna test the paint with a glossier base coat, and this time on a master grade GN sword. So hopefully this time, I get the results I actually want. This is how it looks like with a gunmetal primer on. But like I said, I'm going to use an even glossier base coat for this one. So, I'm going to use this Tamiya Metallic Black as the base coat. Hopefully this will be glossy enough to get the finish I want. And this is how it looks like with a black base coat. Hopefully, this'll do the trick. Using a black undercoat resulted in a deeper metallic finish. I actually quite like it. In the end of the day, the two chrome blades turned out differently. They're both shiny, but in different ways. The high grade blade turned out a bit shinier, but it doesn't have that much depth compared to this. On the master grade blade, I used a dark base coat. I used metallic black as a base coat, which provides for like a deeper undertone. It gives off a very smoky feel to it. In the end of the day, I actually prefer the smokier finish. Look at that, it's just so beautiful, isn't it? Uh, bottom line, I am satisfied with the overall results. If you're looking to experiment with these paints, I highly suggest you try using glossier primers or glossier base coats. That might actually make the finish even better. And like I showed you a while ago, using a darker base coat helps because it provides like this depth it provides like this undertone which for me is always a good thing although if you want a more upbeat chrome finish armored komodo also offers the supra chrome it provides for a more upbeat chrome finish however the chrome effect on the armored chrome paint is actually more durable and more long lasting according to the company so in the end of the day it really boils down to what you prioritize as for me i am very happy with this it is of a standard truly worthy of the name Gundam, aka me. And also I want to mention that you're not supposed to use a gloss coat on top of these paints for the final finish. I guess if you want, you can use gloss coat for like an under layer, but the final layer definitely has to be the chrome paint. You can't use a clear coat as the final layer, it's going to mess up the chrome. If you want to see more content like this, don't forget to like, subscribe, or maybe comment what, it, what you want to see in the future. Yeah, that's about it. Peace.